Well, the flu is estimated to cost nearly $40 billion in terms of lost productivity. One Purdue student hopes her research can bring immense savings to area schools, all thanks to the simple act of hand washing. News 18's Kayla Sullivan reports while we might do that every day, most aren't doing it right. Teaching your kid to wash their hands at school isn't always an easy task, but Galena Miller, this grad student and mother of a fifth grader, found it a lot easier to explain through her simulation research at the Purdue Homeland Security Institute. He was really excited about it to, to see how their uh, students can be infected. But not every parent has this visual aid, so how can you make sure your child is washing their hands? Well, Randy Black says it starts with your own hand washing habits. This is a behavior that's simple, simple to perform, but most people don't know how to do it properly. Black says odds are you're probably washing your hands the wrong way. You shouldn't just be washing your hands, you should be washing all the way up to your wrists. How long to wash? Um, generally, if you sing happy birthday twice, that's, that's adequate time. I hope we can prove to school teachers that if you want to improve kids' test scores, start first in the bathroom with teaching them how to wash their hands well. Miller's research shows the direct medical cost for the flu is estimated at $10 billion annually. And that's not taking into account work and school productivity, which is estimated at $38 billion. If Galena can institute um, her program nationally, it has all kinds of cost-saving benefits. Miller brought her research to West Lafayette schools, hoping to inspire policy changes based on her findings. It will lead to their better quality of life. And that's what she hopes she can do at more schools after she graduates in May. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.